carnival season, Mardi Gras is the largest free and unsponsored event in the entire world. And so this is this huge, huge festival that is put on, uh, totally open to the public to attend. And the way that it's paid for is through uh, the members that ride in these parades and these crew organizations. They pay to be a member of the parade and they also fund the parade by buying packages of throws. The most common throw, of course, is the Mardi Gras bead. And a parade can have as many as 3,700 members just in one parade. And we're talking about 70 parades or more through the season. And so uh, there's just a deluge of disposable plastic items. These beads are going to be donated to Ark of Greater New Orleans, and they are going to be sorted and recycled by adults with developmental disabilities and then resold to the parades next year. In five blocks, they found 96,000 pounds of beads in the septic system of New Orleans uh, a couple years ago, and what we're doing is trying to prevent that from happening. You've heard the phrase reduce, reuse, recycle. So our vision is to try to allow and build and create a local sustainable throw economy. And that means coming up with ideas for throws that are things that are functional, biodegradable, consumable, uh, with an emphasis on Louisiana products. So we want to find things that people can use. Catching things that are handmade, catching things that are sustainable, I think those are just as exciting, if not even more exciting for our kids. I prefer a sustainable glitter over microplastics any day of the year, especially at Mardi Gras. Yeah! yeah! Because we are not polluting, we are enjoying and making ourselves pretty without any issues in the environment. Hey, can we have your cans when you're done? They, they love it. They absolutely love it. Everyone that comes to pick up says the same thing. They're like, wow, I am so glad that this exists. You know, I'm so glad that somebody is doing something about this. I'm so glad that somebody is, is helping us to make a change. The idea that we're moving towards a more precious, more collectible, more sustainable kind of Mardi Gras uh, gift, because that's what it is. It's a gift to the audience from the crews that makes their Mardi Gras experience exciting. I think what, what change is always difficult. And I think as more people see the items and see how nice they are, I think more crews will be shifting towards sustainable packaging.